Hello, this is Kyle with 5 Minute Guide, and today we're going to be talking about the 3D view buttons in Blender. So we're in 3D view right here. So as you can see, it's a 3D view. Uh, and what we're going to talk about are the buttons down here. Okay, so the first point, uh, the first thing we're going to do is the viewport shading. So we can take this object, we can throw it into a wireframe. Uh, we can view it as just a solid. Um, we can have it textured, so if you have like a UV map or some sort of texturing on there, you can see that. And then fully rendered, you can see that this will slow down your editing process quite a bit. Um, it's a cool feature to have, but I suggest that you use it just to view your object fully rendered and not edit it in this mode. Typically when you're editing, you're going to be editing probably in solid mode, maybe in wireframe. Um, occasionally bounding box, but most of the time it's probably going to be in in wireframe and solid. Um, occasionally you also do edit in texture mode when you are um, making sure that your meshes are lining up with your UV maps um, and make sure that that's working out properly. Sometimes you, you got to fiddle with that. Um, the next thing are the um, the different modes. So you have object mode, which is what we're in now. We have edit mode, which is where you can actually physically you know, edit the object and whatnot. Um, we have sculpt mode, which is a, another way where you can actually edit um, an object and have it, you know, change um, its format, which I haven't messed with a whole lot, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like messing with stuff um, as far as, you know, the sculpt mode goes. Um, vertex painting, um, this, this is, Actually, I am not entirely sure what the vertex painting is for. I think it has to do with the bones, the ap um, armatures and stuff. Um, I haven't messed with that a whole lot. Weight paint, um, that is for armatures. I'm sure you can probably use it for other things. I only use it for armatures. Um, uh, so you can you know manipulate your objects uh, a little bit, um, bit more fluidly than you would you know with vertices. Um, and then texture painting. Uh, you can actually upload images in here and all sorts of other stuff, but that'll actually give a texture to your object itself. Um, so, also we have, let's go back to object mode here for a second. And let's select, um, actually let's select edit mode. And we actually have different options here. Let's actually get over to some light. So right now we're in um, the vertex select mode. So we can select different vertices. Um, you can select edges. So if you wanna manipulate an entire edge, um, there's that option or face select. So you can actually select a face. And remember you can select multiple faces so you can affect them you know, together and whatnot um, and however you want to do that. Um, let's actually move that whole thing back into the light. All right. Uh, there is also, ah, the limit selection um, visible button. This is great. I usually leave it as solid, um, but it's really cool. It's a really cool feature because you see how you can see, uh, let's go back to vertice mode. Um, so you know you can see that, that corner piece over there. You click on that and it's actually, you're clicking it through the object. But say you got a bunch of vertices and you're trying to click on a bunch of them and everything else, but you're, just, you're getting vertices on the other side. Well, you click on this and now you, you can't click through it. So that's kind of nice having a solid object um, that you can't you know, access vertices on the other side of the object through it. That's, a, that's kind of a nice little feature. Um, so let's see here. Um, let's check out the layers. So let's go back to the object mode. And these are the different visible layers. And you can add, um, you can add objects um, to these different layers and they won't show up on this, on, the, on your other layers. Um, this uh, comes into play a lot more with uh, the game engine um, because you're gonna have like empties and other things that are going to spawn items from other layers. So say you have a gun, um, you're gonna have an empty on like your primary level, um, your primary layer, you're gonna have an empty 
and whenever you you know hit a button or whatever that empty is going to spawn a bullet from another layer uh, so that's actually really helpful having the different layers tabs and we'll probably get into that a bit more um, in another tutorial um, so yeah I mean that's pretty much um, these buttons down here there's a few other like little things, but those are like the the main points. You can render out images and whatnot. Um, just the quick key from down there. Um, when you render something out, you gotta escape to get out of it. If this tutorial has helped you, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment down below. This is Kyle with Five Minute Guide.